What's up, YouTube? This is Mathemus97, and welcome to episode number 69 of my WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. Coming to you for another edition of Tuesday Night Main Event. And what an episode of Main Event we have for you today, because it is the debut, well, the official in-ring debut of Sami Zayn to the main roster here tonight to kick off this episode. And of course, as we can see, Jay Uso defeated Heath Slater in singles competition. William Regal actually knocked off Cody Rhodes in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And Randy Orton defeated the great Kyle Lee in a one-on-one -on -one match. And then here we go, main event of main event will be a Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match. So the winner here tonight will go on to face the Divas champion Paige at Payback. And that is going to be something spectacular. It's going to be amazing. Whoever wins this Fatal 4 right tonight, I mean, they're going to have a lot going for them. They got to look forward to a match with the undefeated Paige. So that's going to be interesting. But uh, first of all, let's get to what we have first here tonight. First order of business. It's the debut of this man, Sami Zayn. And I got to say, of all the superstars that have debuted thus far, I feel like Sami Zayn could have the brightest future out of all of them. I mean, I mean, we've seen the likes of Rusev, Corey Graves, Adrian Neville, Bo Dallas. We've seen a lot of these former NXT superstars now step up to the main roster. I mean, Paige included as well. But I feel like Sami Zayn, he's, you know, he's, he's the best of the bunch thus far. I feel like Sami Zayn, he really has what it takes to be a main event superstar here in universe mode. But tonight, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere, starting from the bottom to get to the top. And tonight, Santina Morella, he's looking to perhaps turn his career around. You can imagine picking up a victory over a future main eventer like Sami Zayn here tonight. Who am I, who am I kidding? Santina's not winning this thing. We all know it. And if you thought Santino was going to win, well, uh, I mean, a, f a fool can dream, I guess that's, I don't know, Santino, I mean, we saw, we've seen how he's, how he's fared in these other matches, I mean, we saw against Neville, against Rusev, I mean, heck, Santino thought he had Rusev counted out at a count of, what was it, four, seven, I don't, I honestly don't remember, but Santino, he's not, not the, not the sharpest tool in the box, but, um, Nonetheless, he's still here, and he's got Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one tonight, so we'll see how Santino fares. So far, so good. Counters the suplex into a neck breaker there, and now Santino, well, look at this. Delivers a kick to the gut. Oh, and now a running shot to the face there of Sami Zayn, and Santino's celebrating, but uh, Santino, you gotta, you gotta stay on your opponent. Oh, nice arm drag there from Sami Zayn. And look at Zayn here, standing moonsault onto Santino. And, well, that, that might be it out of Santino. We may have seen the best that Santino Morella has to offer already. Look at Sami Zayn. Snap suplex as he takes down the Italian Santino Morella. And now a kick to the back as well as Santino. I mean, he may have had his last hurrah already. As Sami Zayn, I mean, it's just all Sami Zayn in this one. Oh, but wait, Santino, he's firing back. He's got a couple of strikes left in him. A couple jabs right there. Oh, he was looking for the discus clothesline or maybe a forearm. Not sure what he was going for, but it was blocked. Now look at this, crucifix into the roll-up. But Santino kicks at it too. Sami Zayn right now, another punch to the face. Look at this. Oh, he's setting up Santino for the blue thunder bomb. Into the cover, two count. And that is it, folks, Sami Zayn. In dominant fashion, finishes off Santina Morella. And that might have even been record time. I mean, Sami Zayn just quickly doing away with Santino here. I mean, he wasn't wasting any time. No fooling around. No nonsense is Sami Zayn. And that blue thunder bomb, it was, it was effective. It was enough to finish off Santino here tonight. So we didn't have to see the Haluva kick. I mean, we did see that back when Sami Zayn made his first appearance back when he faced Corey Graves on episode 35 
Of course, that was a bit of an NXT showcase. But uh, now, Sami Zayn, he's on the main roster for real. He's the real deal. And he's finally here to make his debut. As oh my god! Corey Graves! What? What the hell does Corey Graves want with... Oh my god, a drop kick, Sami Zayn, he went... His face bounced off the apron there. Oh my god, Corey Graves, again, blindsiding one of his former, you know, his former comrades down in NXT. Well, maybe comrade isn't the right word. Sami trying to fire back, but Graves again, sending Zayn crashing into the steel steps. I suppose comrade is not the correct term, but you know, these two superstars were, you know, they were both down in NXT at the same time. They've you know, you know, they've run their course down in NXT, they've traveled their paths, they've finished off the that chapter of their career, but, I mean, we saw it over the limit, Corey Graves, he just decimated Adrian Neville, and now it looks like he's looking to do the same to Sami Zayn here, and yep, this is just like what we saw it over the limit, Corey Graves going after the leg of Sami Zayn, much like he did to Adrian Neville, and now a side suplex right there as he takes... Sami Zayn down to the mat, nearly dropping him on the back of his head. As Graves, what is up with Corey Graves here? I, I don't, he is just out for blood. I mean, he just doesn't even care. He just goes down to the ring and just attacks these people. He doesn't, he's not about winning matches. He's trying to end people's careers. And with that, with a backbreaker like that, that could, that could do just that. And oh, are we gonna see it? Corey Graves, he's locking in Lucky 13. Oh, come on, somebody's gotta stop Corey Graves here. Sami Zayn, I mean, he's beyond the point where he can even defend himself. Zayn, it's how he's, uh, I'm, I'm just speechless. Corey Graves, just absolutely despicable actions here tonight. I don't even know when we're gonna see from Sami Zayn again. I mean, we saw what he did to Neville. Neville may never come back from that attack. And now Sami Zayn, um, Graves, that could just be two careers that he has ended in the past week. Seriously, Corey Graves, this man, he, he's, he's a killer, he's just, I mean, you see tattooed on his knuckles, stay down. And while Sami Zayn, he's certainly not getting back up for a while after that. Same for Adrian Neville, I don't know when we'll see from the two of them again. But Corey Graves, Somebody's got to put this guy in check. I mean, Triple H, you got to, you know, somebody's got to stop Corey Graves. They gotta, we got to bring this down to a minimum. Keep the attacks, the injuries down. I mean, we can't be losing all of our superstars to injury because of this this Corey Graves, this, this lunatic, this psychopath. But, uh, what? I don't, we have to move on as... You know, as they say, the show must go on. You know, Sami Zayn, it's not not the be-all, end-all of universe mode. It's a, it's a serious deal, it's a serious issue, but uh, we'll have to deal with that at another point in time. Because we do have a show, we have a main event. <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry about that, I don't know what's in my throat, I was just coughing for, like, no reason. I don't know, but this is what happens when I try to do a bunch of commentaries all at once. And lately, that's what I've had, that's what... I need to do because I don't have I don't have a regular schedule where I can commentate you know one video a day nope I have to do them back to back to back so I do apologize if you know I do apologize for that's that little I don't even know what it was it was like I had to cough and then it was like a really weak cough so I do apologize for that throat being a bit scratchy but nonetheless we must continue as we have this fatal four-way to determine the number one contender for Paige's Divas Championship. Of course, at Over the Limit as well, we saw Paige retain the Divas Championship against Brie Bella. So Paige, she continues her undefeated streak since she debuted back in February. And now as we can see, we've got Emma and Naomi going at it, and then we have Tamina and AJ squaring off at the moment. So a bit of a mix, you know, a mixed bag of feuds here, of course, Naomi and Emma, they've got uh, personal history with each other, and the same can be said for AJ Lee and Tamina, as they they certainly have their history with each other. I mean, we've seen 
They faced off numerous times. We've seen several attacks between the two of them. And uh, their, their more recent matchup that took place a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown, we even saw a steel chair get brought into the fray. I mean, Tamina and AJ are just really crossing that line of, you know, I mean, they're really stepping up their game in terms of aggressiveness. I mean, it's not too often that you see, you know, in a Divas matchup that, you know, weapons get brought into the fray and it really becomes more of a hardcore fight. But that's, that's to the point where Tamina and AJ have gone. And, you know, perhaps that could just be the new direction that this division is going to be going in. Maybe more of these hardcore matches, you know, more weapons getting involved. Of course, this is a Fatal 4-Way, so there is no disqualification. And, well, I think Tamina, she must have heard me because she's got that steel chair in hand. And going right after AJ Lee. Picking up right where they left off a few weeks ago. Tamina just repeated shots to AJ with that steel chair. Just completely... Just, this is... I mean, Tamina Snuka, she is just the ruthless aggression of this Divas division. As we see, goes for the cover. Two count, but a kick out by AJ. And I really think since... Tamina lost to Paige in that one-on-one -on -one matchup. She's really become a lot more aggressive. Now, you know, I was saying previously that Paige was, um, without a doubt, the, mo the most aggressive divi most aggressive, I can't speak, most aggressive diva in the divas division at this point, but it appears as though Tamina, she's trying to kind of take that role as her own. She's trying to I mean, she's really stepped up her aggressiveness, and that's that's something we need in this division. There hasn't been a ton of aggressive divas for a while. I mean, when we began, we had, you know, Beth Phoenix, Natalia, Karma, even. They, they were, you know, pretty... Those are more the powerhouse style of divas. They were aggressive, but... I mean, really, what we're seeing now between... I mean, Paige, of course, with her debut, and now Tamina with this recent not really an attitude shift she's just kind of I mean she's always been aggressive but I mean she's really just kind of turned that like she's really turned it up recently I mean she's like you know say you know maybe she was originally at like 50% aggressiveness now she's really up to she's really cranked it up to like 80 maybe even 90% I mean to me that she's just really amplified that aggressiveness and I feel like that's what's starting to garner her the success Na well, Naomi now going after the steel chair. So it appears as though the steel chair is definitely going to be a huge factor in this one. Again, AJ met with a steel chair to the skull. And to me, well, now Tamina, she's just attacking everybody with that steel chair. Taking out Emma, Naomi, and AJ. All with that steel chair. I mean, Tamina, we could be looking at the next number one contender for the Divas title. Tamina's just laying waste to everybody in this matchup. She's not playing favorites. Oh, but AJ, with that hurricanrana, Tamina's face might have even crashed into that barricade as Emma and Naomi continue to go at it on the outside. I mean, this matchup has really just broken down into, into two separate fights. An atomic drop right there to Naomi. Emma now perhaps looking to get a piece of AJ Lee. Hurricanrana by Emma. And AJ, you know, sent crashing down onto the floor. And another Hurricanrana from Emma. And she's really trying to use her athleticism to her advantage. Obviously, when you look at someone... You, you know, when you can't match something like aggressiveness with another competitor, you need to use what, you, what brought you to the dance to try to level the playing field. Obviously, if you get a matchup like a David vs. Goliath, and you obviously can't match power, so you want to try to combat that with speed. If you can't match aggressiveness, you want to use some of your more technical prowess to gain the advantage. And that's what Emma has got to do here tonight. Her high-flying ability as well, as you know, from what we've seen thus far, is very impressive. Emma, perhaps that could be her defining trait. She could be much more of a high-flying diva. I mean, we do see... We've seen more of the technical kind of... Uh, competitors. We've seen our Summer Rays, our uh, Brie Bellas, Nikki Bella, AJ Lee, I guess Naomi as well. But we haven't really seen too many high flyers. I mean, we have been lacking aggressiveness, that is true, but 
high flyers as well. We haven't seen much of that. Look at this, Naomi with a sunset, or not a sunset flip, a split leg moonsault. Tamina with the cover, AJ kicks out, or Emma kicks out, if I can get these divas right. Look at this, Naomi, her Karana could have Tamina rolled up, could be the next number one contender. Now a kick out by Tamina. Oof, that was a close call there. Imagine if Naomi had picked up the victory over Tamina. I don't, I don't think that would have gone over too well with the second generation diva here. Guys, look at this. Emma's got AJ perched up on the top rope. Look at Emma here. Hurricanrana off of that top rope there. But Tamina, she tried to capitalize, and Emma, she's having none of that. So now, as we can see, we have AJ and Naomi there going at it. Emma and Tamina. This fight has transitioned. We've got, you know, finally these these personal rivalries have kind of been brushed to the side. Now it's all just about competition at this point. Naomi, she's got AJ leaning up against those ropes. Drop kick out to the floor. AJ Lee sent over the top rope. Meanwhile, Tamina delivers a nice knee lift to the gut of Emma. And she could be looking to go to the top rope for that super fly splash. AJ and Naomi, they're battling it out now over by the announce table. AJ, she's got another steel chair. And this is not gonna be good. Tamina again tosses Emma into the corner. Look at Naomi here. She's trying to distract AJ. Oh, what a shot to the face there by Naomi. Yes. Oh, a super kick by Tamina. Tamina may just kicked Emma's head off. She goes for the cover. Two count. That is it, folks. And oh, a drop kick from behind from Naomi. A complete cheap shot on AJ Lee. But Tamina, I mean, AJ and Naomi, they were distracted. And then Tamina just about kicked Emma's head off. I mean, we need to get a replay of that. That super kick out of nowhere. Emma never saw it coming. I mean, but this moment, of course, right here, I mean, where Naomi nearly scored the victory. But in the end, Tamina, she was able to come back from that and, well, knock Emma completely unconscious with that super kick. And that's it, folks. That is it for this episode. Tamina is your new number one contender. I want to thank you all for watching, and until next time, keep on YouTubing.